Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm standing out here in front of the LA Grand Hotel. It's Sunday, August 1st. The year is 2021. Here's my godly, godly, Gotti. Look at Gotti. Say hi. Uh, sir, what's your name? This is David Christian. He got kicked out of the LA Grand Hotel. Um, there's a bunch of. Go ahead, say something. About a month now. But what I don't understand is, you know, I've been there a year. I caught COVID in this place from off the streets and two months into a quarantine that lasted three months. And uh, during that time, you know, uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, false imprisonment. I had to say because we weren't allowed to go to stores, you know, which uh, wasn't right. I was allowed to the laundromat, which wasn't right. And um, it was, uh, as far as I I seen it, it was favorites. They played a lot of favorites, you know. Other people were allowed to go, and uh, I even lost my job. I was an artist. I lost my paintings in the art store during that time. And uh, I don't even know where it went, but uh, the bottom line is now they're doing it again. I got to keep my mouth out for the second time um, after having housing. Um, they having a match. They did give to me. It expired. How, this, how would a match or a housing expire unless they're not given? I can't go to the computers and go on the computers and get it myself. But let them tell it because I, I wasn't. Uh, I was crossed street. We were selling cigarettes. I caught COVID and I missed my housing. How come you got kicked out the second time? Uh, same time before I had a, a broke lighter, a broke a lighter, and a, and a broke uh, a scale. Um, we were allowed to we were allowed to smoke marijuana here when we first came, and uh, we had to transact marijuana when we were here. You know. Um, well, David, would you mind that when the police get here, because I called the police, and would you mind if they come over here and would you talk to them? I mean, uh, yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll, I always want to talk to them. Because they're not allowed to kick anybody out of here um, um, during COVID. I always, always want to leave something behind just in case somebody needed. Uh, reference, character reference on what's going Well, they're on. not allowed to kick anybody out uh, during COVID. Well, they definitely did that. Before, so. That's why I want you to talk to them and, to find and out. And it's my first write-up in a whole year. I've never had a write-up since I've been here. That's the, you know, look, if anything, it was an infraction. But for the director to come up to my room and not say anything about putting me out, and then I come back outside and sell my soda and cigarettes, uh, two hours later, come a supervisor laughing and giving a uh, smirker and telling me, uh, you know that was, you know, you, you don't want to look for it. Who's the supervisor? Uh, I don't know her name. Washington? Miss Williams is the director. Miss Washington is the director. And the other lady uh, up under her, uh, I forgot her name. Uh, she's a supervisor. But uh, they, uh, after that, they, they stole my property, which, you know, I have proof that I had that radio since I've been here, you know. A uh, nice radio, nice big stereo. And I'm, I'm wondering why why I'm getting kicked out for uh, paraphernalia and they're not getting uh, reprimanded for uh, stealing. And you know, I, I was just it. thinking about, David, I should save some of this recording for when the police get here. Yeah, that'd be nice. I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I want this video to go to Peggy Hall. Uh, I don't want to, s the president, but not the president that we have right now. I don't want to say the name because they'll just void this video. I'll say one more thing. Yeah. You know, last year picked me up off of Skid Row. And, you know, for them to put me out and not have me, you know, uh, uh, way uh, to get my stuff, which is what I have here, uh, back to Skid Row, back to another housing facility, is very well, unfair because now I'm anchored here and to stay here and, and probably be uh, victimized because I'm still here. And that's what it looks like we're doing. You know? Right, right. I get threats and I get death threats at night and stuff like that and all kind of stuff. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's not, it's not. I've been here 34 years on Skid Row and I really was, uh, doing my best to, 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 to keep straight and do a straight thing, which I still am. I'm not a saint, but I'm not doing that close to what I used to do. If you look at my record, and some of the police do know me, they'll tell you. I'm That's okay. I'm nothing close to that. That's okay. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save the save so when the cops get here. Thank you, David, for your for your time. God bless you.